Today we are making the perfect tiramisu, my favorite dessert. This is better than cannoli, better than panna cotta. This is the king of all desserts. Let's make it together. Mm -hmm. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make tiramisu. It means cheer me up. So this is going to cheer you up. Let's make it together. Tiramisu, it's perfect for any festive season, okay? So you don't need to wait for Christmas because I eat tiramisu every day. And for me, it's Christmas every day. No, it's not. <laughs> These are the ingredients that you need to make the perfect tiramisu that fits in a 9 by 13 inches Pyrex. Five beautiful extra large eggs, free range, please. One large packet of Savoyardi biscuits. Please get the real Italian deal, please. 500 grams of mascarpone, which is two small tubs, three or five tablespoons of white sugar. It's up to you how much you want to use. 700 ml of Italian coffee, cocoa powder, and a little bit of icing sugar for decoration. In the ingredients, I didn't mention amaretto or marsala. Why? Because I never been a fan of alcohol in my tiramisu, because many people don't like it, because kids maybe don't enjoy it, and to be honest, I think it tastes better. The authentic way, it's made with uh, masala, alcohol, you know, amaretto, you can use frangelico, but I don't. And let me tell you, everybody loves it. I've always used raw eggs for my tiramisu, always. But in my previous videos, lo lots of you said to me, oh, why do you use raw eggs? That's what you use for authentic tiramisu. But today, for majority of you who are scared of raw eggs for tiramisu, this is how we do it, okay? We're gonna uh, bain marie our eggs. Now let's divide the egg yolks and the white of the egg, okay? Okay, so here we go with the white, egg white, and the egg yolk. And now you wash your hands, okay? It's a must. Now we're going to pasteurize the eggs, so we have no risk of salmonella, okay? What we need to do is, we get a pot full of water, we make sure the water is boiling, 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 then what we do is we switch off the stove so the water is still hot, you put a bowl on top so the steam will warm up the eggs. You put the egg and you mix it. Mix it with a hand mixer, mix, 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 mix. And if you have a thermometer, use it because you can check the temperature of the eggs. You don't want to exceed the 60 degrees Celsius, okay? 60 is the maximum I would recommend you. Even less, it's okay, okay? And when you get to the point, you stop. I would recommend about one minute, two minutes the most on, you know, with this, then you take it off and you finish it off, off the stove, okay? So you don't risk to get scrambled eggs. Now it's time to add five tablespoons of white sugar to the egg yolk. And when you get this consistency with the yolks, you know you are done and you are ready to add the mascarpone. We want to make sure, guys, we don't boil this, okay? We don't boil it. Gentle. See, guys, when you get something this beautiful and thick like that, you know you're ready, okay? Now we're going to add the mascarpone, 500 grams of mascarpone in this one. All right, now let's mix this mascarpone with the eggs. Come on. Slowly, slowly. Make sure they make love together. Hello. And now we go faster. Look at that, this beautiful thick cream. 
Ah, this is what we want for a tiramisu. Look how wonderful. Look how wonderful this is. Now let's put the egg white inside and we are going to mix it and fold it with a spatula, okay? Do not use the mixer here. Just like this. Beautiful. And here is the cream for our tiramisu. Look how easy this is. Hmm? Now it's time to dunk the Savoyard in the coffee. And this is what I do. This is my technique, okay? Because that's how I like to have my tiramisu. Cold coffee. We're gonna place the Savoyard for three seconds. One, two, three, and out. Get everything out. And then we place it in the Pyrex. So I'll show you one more time. You get the Savoyard. One, two, three, in the cold coffee. Get all the coffee out and we put it in the Pyrex. The reason why I like the three seconds technique is because I want my tiramisu to be moist. I want my tiramisu to be creamy. I want my tiramisu to melt in my mouth, okay? And that's the reason why I do this. One, two, three. See, the biscuit is not breaking, as you can see. The biscuit is not breaking, the coffee is cold. If the coffee is warm, your biscuit will break. When you get to this point, okay, that's all you got left, what we do is we push in, we push this biscuit in, so we go one on top of each other, okay? We do that, one, two, three. So, so the biscuits are nice and soft and you should be able to do this. To squash, squash the biscuit, here we go. Now we're covering the first layer with the mascarpone and egg mix, okay? So let's start, and here we go. Now we want to spread this everywhere. Spread it everywhere. You add a little bit more until all the biscuits are covered. Okay, here we go, perfect. I like to put chocolate in my tiramisu, okay? I don't use alcohol, but I do use roasted almond dark chocolate, okay? And this is what I do. I grate it on top. You put as much as you want, okay? No rules here. You put as much as you want and be as generous as you want. Oh, a big piece went inside. That's a nice surprise. You put as much as you want, and if you wanna break it with your hands and just do this, why not? You actually can get pieces, pieces of chocolate. That's a nice surprise for when you go and have your tiramisu. Yeah, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now what we need to do is to cover this layer with cocoa powder, okay? Just like that. Just put cocoa powder everywhere, and this will give the extra flavor. Now we do the second layer. Uh, we, do, we follow the same steps we use in the first layer, okay? And make sure you follow also the position of your Savoyardi. So one, two, three in the coffee. And we place it on top of the other one. Now I want to tell you this right at the end because I don't want to stress you out, okay? This is my mind and what I think. The Savoyardi has a, a side with sugar and a side without sugar. The side with the sugar, it's um, a bit stronger and harder than this side, this is softer. So what I like to do is once I dip, I dunk the, coffee, the biscuit in the coffee, I like to have the sugar side facing down, okay? So when we rest the tiramisu in the fridge overnight, we have the coffee going on this side and make this side softer, okay? This is what I think, and I believe it makes a difference. And one more here. Perfect. Oh, this one was a bit too wet, I think, but it's okay. Now press gently, and now we can put the rest of the cream on top. Now let's put the rest of the cream on top for the top layer. Look how beautiful and creamy it is. And now gently, you wanna spread your cream everywhere, okay? Gently, 
You don't want to touch the biscuit, you just want the cream to move. Oh, yum. The top, you want to basically have more cream on the top. Now we do the same thing. We get the chocolate all over it. Oh, beautiful. I think the chocolate makes such a big difference. Ooh, a big piece of chocolate went in. The lucky one. Here it is. Put more chocolate everywhere. This is our love to make my tiramisu, and I believe this is the perfect, perfect tiramisu. Guys, we're almost done. This is the last step of our tiramisu. The last step, which is the cocoa powder. Let's cover everything with cocoa powder. Cover every single corner of this tiramisu. Every single corner. I don't want to see the egg mix anywhere. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, in my next life, I want to be born a tiramisu. What do you think of this beauty? Beauty. Now, what we want to do is get some uh, plastic wrap and we want to cover this, okay? Cover it because this needs to be in the fridge to set. Now, you can have this in the fridge for four hours, okay? If you really wanna have it on the same day. But for you to have the best tiramisu experience ever, you wanna do this the day before. So the day before you do it, leave it in the fridge, and then you enjoy it. The day after will taste so much better. The third day will be the best of the best of the best experience for you. The fourth day will be great. The fifth day, you don't want to have it anymore, okay? Hopefully it doesn't last that long. This, it's a masterpiece. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, baby. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Tiramisu. Good morning. Hey, did you sleep well? I can't wait to eat you. Hey, look how beautiful it looks. Let's reveal it. Here we go. The revealing of the tiramisu, stunning, see? Set, it's perfect. The middle should be soft. The reason why I like to put cocoa powder the night before is because as you can see, it melts, okay? The cream absorbs it and I think it gives extra flavors. I know lots of people like to do it on the same day, like before the serve. I'm not a big fan of that. This is what I like, but this is my personal choice. Now, what do we do now? We're going to cut it, okay? I'm gonna cut a nice, slice the first slice normally breaks okay so i'm gonna cut the first slice but i'm not serving that just want you to see how beautiful this is gonna look yum 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 look how beautiful it is look at those layers over here we got beautiful layers we got the the, the mascarpone in the middle it's soft, it's moist. Let's decorate a little bit. So we're gonna put some icing sugar around it. Just you don't go on the tiramisu. Just go around it. Just like that. Perfect. Now we put cocoa powder around it. A bit less. You don't wanna cover the white. Just a little bit less. Here we go. And this is how you make a fantastic, perfect tiramisu. The way I like it. As you can see, the layers there, see? Are perfectly they, they are moist we don't know we need to try beautiful beautiful flavors beautiful smell is it time to eat it yes it is come on let's try it This is the best time of the video. It's time to eat. So let's see how moist it is. Right, look, look. Look when I cut it. Look how easy it is to break, see? So easy. Let's see if it melts in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It does melt in my mouth. I want you to see inside. Look at the inside. Look how the inside is moist. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Super moist. That's what you want from a tiramisu. This is the, the look that you want when you cut your tiramisu. 
Got all moist. Mmm, come in, baby, come, baby. Mmm, mmm. Love you so much. The right amount of coffee. You don't want the coffee to be too much, okay? Enough coffee, enough amount of cocoa powder, beautiful flavors of mascarpone. The eggs is safe, so if you don't want to have raw, raw eggs in the tiramisu, this is the safest way to make tiramisu. No ricotta, no cooking cream. This is the only way. I can't stop eating, so I need to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Write a comment below, please. Write a comment below and say thank you. And e ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm. 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 Mmm.